there has been this constant thing about you that it's very tough yeah. to work with you i'm a very straight forward person हमारी जिंदगी में संघर्ष लिया हमारे बच्चे मस्ती करेंगे यू वर आल्सो वेरी नोटोरियस और इन फेमस फॉर बीइंग यू नो फाइटिंग विद द इन्वेस्टर्स और इन्वेस्टर इन्वेस्टर होता है उसको अपना देखनी है ऑन तो तो नॉट टू नो ऑन तो अपनी देखनी है आई वेंट टू कोटा दो साल पहली बार घर से बाहर निकला था और वहां जाके इतनी मस्ती करी ट्राई नहीं हुआ अगर लड़कियां क्रिकेट में जीत सकती हैं तो फैक्ट्री में क्यों नहीं काम कर सकती यू हैव बीन रिटन ऑफ मेनी मेनी टाइम्स So Bhavish, today we are going to have a conversation. Yes. मतलब हम conversation तो करते रहते हैं. दस मग... साल से. हाँ. हाँ. ज़्यादा हो गया. हाँ. दस. बारह साल हो गया. बारह साल हो गया. You know, I'm here in Ola factory, and uh, not because I'm here. I will say this: कि आज I don't have words hmm. because uh, hmm. somewhere you know you have been putting on social media and sab ki taraf main bhi dekhte rehti hu badi badi cheeze. I've seen you. I've seen all the. Uh. Uh, uh, tweets and posts that you do last year on 2019 or whenever you guys went to iit huh. and uh, your professor showed huh. that when you came to iit you had written <laughs> that yes you want to be better huh. you huh. you get better huh. be better huh. but most importantly when you had entered iit only you had uh, uh, said ki i want to create impact for india huh. and i want to create impact from india for huh. the world and today we are living this to now tell me hum ek dusre ko 11 12 saal se jante hain matlab main actually bahut chhota bachcha tha jab yes and <laughs> your app was like yeah uh, i remember yes. coming to your office yes. in your story yes. no ola ki app leke you know, <laughs> since then yes. you know i have been very keen that uh, i show you what we have built over the last 2 years in ola electric yeah because uh, genuinely i feel uh, this is india's moment yes. and that is yeah, hamara time aa chuka hai and hamara time entrepreneurs ko aur amplify karna hai yeah. i generally feel that and what we have been able to do in the last two years it's only scratching the surface but it shows what is possible in india ke itna scale pe hum uh, uh, manufacturing laga sake modern technology india mein bana sake you know i feel very uh, lucky that i am young in india at this time when we can truly build the future and uh, there is uh, i feel the best place to be in the world is to be young in india but on your point on the iit thing you know uh, what happened was uh, mai jab uh, abhi last year i went to uh, iit to give the convocation speech ha so i felt and you know, i felt ki iit mujhe bula raha i felt very happy about it uh, and i went and gave a speech but what uh, really surprised me was my professor hamare yahan wo first year mein professor advisors hote hain ha in iit so they are basically the uh, us us batch ke liye wo professor in charge hote hain so he showed me what all all the batch had written on the first day so he had made all of us write their dreams on the first day tab to lag raha tha ki yaar professor humse kya kaam kara raha hai you know when you are 16 17 18 and you feel ki are kya dream dream likh raha hu let let us get on with you know sham ko hostel mein jana hai khelna hai doston ke sath masti karni hai but we had all written a few lines and i had forgotten about ki likha tha kya likha tha and then he showed me you know he had kept it and he had brought it to this event to show it to me and uh, you know when i read it i was also surprised it said ki uh, i want to do something in india for india to that effect but then when i started reflecting you know i i all i've always felt this you know i i can't say it in words very clearly but i always feel ke hamari destiny hai hamari meri jo hamare generation ki destiny hai ke hame hame india mein kuch bada karna hai opportunity bhi hai destiny bhi hai challenges bhi hai but hum nahi solve karenge to kaun karega avnish was saying a word digital industrialist ab mujhe lag raha hai i was thinking what is digital industrialist we have heard industrialist we have uh, heard digital hmm. now coming here it makes me understand the sheer scale uh, jose was telling me that uh, in 6 months this factory uh, went live yes. sometimes it is good to not know a domain in fact always it's good to be ignorant to start off in a domain humne jab shuru kiya so when we started ola electric uh, i assembled a team and i said hum 6 mahine mein banayenge factory and all of them were looking at me saying pagal ho gaya <laughs> yeah 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 that and, to be here about you <laughs> and i was like no but why can't we do it in 6 months yeah. so they said pagal ho gaya <laughs> so and land was also uneven i heard ha uh, land was uneven you know we we were actually earlier thinking of a different land closer to bangalore and then usme deal strike nahi hui to we the government of tamil nadu kind of arranged this land this 
this was very uneven and i remember i came here saw the land and i felt ha bahut even hai abhi khareed lo i had never bought land in my life <laughs> and it, i didn't know what uneven land is what even land is so we bought the land in february 2021 is when we uh, bought the land and in october 2021 we were producing vehicles from here wow uh, we bought the land february we began construction uh, in uh, april or may and that's the time when the second covid wave was ha- had uh, struck and all these pillars that we see around these all need uh, industrial oxygen to weld so industrial oxygen uh, had to be redirected for medical purposes so for a month or two there was no construction happening but yet the team uh, took up the challenge and uh, finished it now all of us reflect and say ha humne kar diya now we all feel ki hum 5 mahine mein bhi kar sakte the first time i'm seeing us in assembly line jahan start se end tak yeah. girls hain yes iski bhi ek kahani hai Haan. so when we started off uh, planning the people factory to humne uh, construction machinery vagaira sab plan kar liya then we started planning the people and uh, people mein we had our hr team and our uh, manufacturing team sitting brainstorming ke kitna kahan se hum hire kare kaha kaise train karenge because all of the processes you see are new processes बैटरी बनानी है मोटर बनानी है दिस डिडेंट हैपन इन ऑटोमोटिव इन इंडिया बिफोर तो वी सेट के ट्रेन मैन पावर तो मिलेगा नहीं तो हमें ट्रेन करना पड़ेगा तो ट्रेनिंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बनाना है फिर क्वेश्चन आया कि मेल फीमेल रेशियो क्या रखना है देन इंडस्ट्री को हमने स्टडी किया तो इंडस्ट्री का रेशियो था थर्टी परसेंट फीमेल या ट्वेंटी परसेंट फीमेल किसी किसी ने अगर कुछ ज़्यादा किया तो एक छोटे से फैक्ट्री में एक छोटे से पार्ट में वुमेन लगा दिया देन यू नो एट दैट टाइम यू माइट रिकॉल देर वॉज दिस क्रिकेट वुमेन क्रिकेट वर्ल्ड कप हैपनिंग Yeah, so yeah, 2021 yeah. mein sometime yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. and then we were all watching that and our our girls had done really well in that world cup and then one fine day we said agar ladkiyan cricket mein jeet sakti hain to factory mein kyun nahi kaam kar sakti yeah. and uh, and then i put the challenge to the team team thought i'm crazy pagal ho gaya right uh, but then again credit to the team uh, they found a way and now we have more than 3000 girls in this factory we have a policy in ola now all manufacturing will be only women and the reason uh, we did it was it is you know if you look at our country's workforce and if you look at east asia even western world women participation in our workforce is much lower the, the general commentariat blames either uh, the family situation of the women or the women itself or the lack of skills for the women none of that is true the only uh, cohort to blame is the industrialists they have not dreamt about it and they have not shown enough vision to do it so we wanted to do it uh, we we knew ke thodi pareshaniyan aa sakti hain shuru mein ke kahan se layenge girls train kaise karenge उनके फैमिली शायद अपोज करेंगे शुरू में बट इट इज वी वॉन्टेड टू सेट दिस अप एज अ एग्जाम्पल फॉर इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिया के हंड्रेड परसेंट वुमेन फैक्ट्री हो सकती है एंड नॉट जस्ट इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स विच इज लाइट मैनुफैक्चरिंग बट इन ऑटोमोटिव विच इज हैवी मैनुफैक्चरिंग सो एंड वी हैव बीन वेरी हैप्पी विद दिस आर गर्ल्स आर यू नो दे कॉल दम सेल्स लाइन्स ऑफ द शेरनीज ऑफ ओला राइट सो दे आर पैशनेट यंग गर्ल्स ऑल ऑफ दम आर एजुकेटेड डिप्लोमाज और डिग्री होल्डर्स Uh, bachelor's in mathematics huh. and everyone and they have so much of drive yeah. and to me that is the most important yeah. thing for me yeah. it was a very emotional moment someone said that uh, mm. i'll buy a car for my husband he <laughs> drops me by two wheeler i work here then yeah. i will but this is a very different level yeah. of change you know you we see the product we see the nice scooter we see number of sales every month you know those are Uh, uh business metrics but in the end there's a human story behind all of yeah. this right and the human story in this is the story of the girls working here i'm seeing the enormity of what mm. you built and in actuality dekh rahi hu because it is so you know big because yeah. whatever you said like number of women mm. factory of the scale ev yeah. of this magnitude yeah. from india how have you managed to do this bachpan se i was always very keen to do something of my own mm. आई डोंट नो वाई उतना मैं अपनी सेल्फ रिफ्लेक्ट नहीं कर पाया हूँ जिंदगी में बट आई ऑलवेज फेल्ट के कुछ बनाना है एंड नॉट नॉट ओनली फ्राम अ कमर्शियल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू यू नो मनी इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट इट ऑलवेज फेल्ट टू मी लाइक अ जर्नी ऑफ रेलिवेंस के हाउ डू आई बिकम मोर रेलिवेंट हाउ डू आई बी पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रॉडर रेनेसा ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज़ हैपनिंग इन आर लाइफ एंड हाउ डू आई डू माई बेट इन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग फॉर दैट सो you know wo hamesha thoda kahin pe tha as as i kept going on in my life uh, you know i grew up in ludhiana uh, where ludhiana is a very business city yeah. but my parents are doctors so i grew up in a very middle class family in the middle of friends who were all very well to do they were all industrialists and i always felt ke chalo ek din main bhi kuch karunga i went to kota do saal pehli bari ghar se bahar nikla tha aur wahan ja ke itni masti kari priority nahi hua you know that was you know i feel one of my deepest 
learning moments. I was very good in school, in, in uh, hmm. work, in, in uh, education, in, in studies. I was in Kota for two years, I was in Kota for two I did everything that a, that a young boy would do, but should not do. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> and I left school. So, I could not get through IIT in my first attempt. Then I came back, uh, you know, mool atka ke ghar aage wapis Ludhiana. After. मुझे सुनने में आया कि room में बंद हो गए फिर एक साल के लिए. हाँ, फिर एक साल के लिए room में बंद हुआ. My dad gave me a choice कि बेटा तुम पंजाब में जो अच्छे college हैं वहाँ तो हो गया क्योंकि मैं फिर भी पढ़ाई में reasonable था. But IIT नहीं crack कर पाया था. But पंजाब में अच्छा college में हो गया था. तो बेटा तुम वहाँ चले जाओ. And he recommended कि वहाँ चले जाओ. But अगर खुद से मेहनत करनी है तो एक साल और बहुत मेहनत लगेगी. And statistics are against. People who are, who drop off to get really good branch and all in uh, in IIT. Yeah. So I said, "No, Papa, I have to properly fight." Uh, and I had, uh, you know, I had. I took it and ate it. I learned that what to do, what to focus on. So for one year, I had to stop in my room. I studied the first principles. You know, that experience really taught me the value of hard work. Then at that time, there were exams. Then there were Fiji, Brilliant yeah, yeah, yeah. tutorials, Vidya Mandir. Yeah. So I used to give every exam. You know, Ludhiana में तो center भी नहीं होता था exam का. So I used to take the local bus, खड़े होके bus में जाता था चंडीगढ़ या जलंधर. वहाँ पे exam देता था Saturday को या Sunday को. महीने बाद result आता था देखता था where I stand. So one full year बहुत आटा आटा तपस्या की. तपस्या की और तपस्या का फल अच्छा निकला in the end. I I got into IIT Bombay, which which was my preference. I got into I got a 23 rank. Yes. But you know that really taught me that in life there is anything you can do. If you work hard, you don't need any resources. Do it yourself. Do first principles. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. You will get what you want. In your journey, you have been written off many many hmm. times. It's not. A, it yeah. has not been an easy ride. I think so. The the jo genuine reason is that just entrepreneur entrepreneur becomes. The genuine people don't want an easy ride also. Yeah. Uh, at least uh, मेरे मेरे मुझे जब uh, clear था कि मुझे entrepreneur बनना है, uh, it was clear कि एक uh, तपस्या वाली जिंदगी है, तपस्या करने से डरना नहीं है, but it will be very hard. All different kinds of hardship will come, and that is what has happened last 12-13 साल that I've been an entrepreneur. I have had all kinds of uh, ups and downs, all kinds of people. Uh, Sometimes clapping for me, sometimes throwing stones at me. Yes. Uh, and over the years, you know, it, it does impact a lot. Everybody wants their work to be recognized. Yeah. Right. Uh, I feel that I am doing work which is, uh, you know, the the intent behind the hard work that that we at Ola put in, that I personally put in, is to truly create a change yes. for uh, for for society. Yes. Right. Uh, and. In the end, it's a business. It's a for-profit business, but it, you know, that's I believe the best construct in which to change society for the better. Yes. Right. So, niyat to wo hai ki you know, desh ke liye kuch bhala kar rahe hain, society ke liye bhala kar rahe hain, aur kuch naya create kar rahe hain. But jab sari you know, kafi bari people try and ascribe motives to it, or people try and ascribe, or people try and pull you down, and they कैरिकेचर यू राइट के ये तो ऐसा ही है बुरा तो लगता ही है काफी बुरा लगता है एंड मे बी फाइव फाइव सिक्स इयर्स अगो इट यूज़ टू हर्ट मी अ लॉट देर वेर टाइम्स व्हेन आई यूज़ टू जस्ट ऑफिस में होता था सम आर्टिकल केम आई यूज़ टू लीव ऑफिस गो होम सिट डाउन एंड यू नो अलोन इन अ कॉर्नर आई I feel I am a very straightforward person. Yes. Uh, I I am what you see is what you get. Exactly. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I have known you. <laughs> Maybe that is the unfortunate reality. Yeah. Yeah. Me jaisa hoon, waisa hoon. Yeah. You know, I don't have a filter. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes the intensity does come out in a raw way. Yeah. And I recognize that. Kabi kabi log chura ghost dete hain, fir chure ko ghumate bhi hain. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So just yeah, for yeah. for their own audiences yes. or for whatever. Yes. Yes. Over the years, I've developed a thick skin. What a journey from an app hmm. software hmm. today. Uh, you know, and I went to your factory. Uh -huh. Like I'm shocked. Just in material science, yeah. me lithium, yes. me yes. the patents, it ne saare hai. The way you are thinking yeah. and the way mm -hmm. you are making it happen. Yeah. This is mobility. Jo dekha mobility for the world <laughs> you are creating. So it has yeah. been a phenomenal yeah. journey. पिछले दस पंद्रह साल because it was generally after the 2008 crisis, thoda easy macro, uh, you know, a lot of quantitative easing had happened, easy money for everybody, and I'm a, also a net beneficiary of that. But Maybe we all uh, lost our way somewhere. Ke comfort chahiye. 
वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस चाहिए आई एम नॉट अगेंस्ट एनी ऑफ दैट एंड टू ईच देर ओन बट मुझे लगता है कि हम हमारी जिंदगी में संघर्ष लिखा है इन अ गुड वे हाँ संघर्ष लिखा है yeah. हमारे बच्चे मस्ती करेंगे राइट सो वी हैव टू बी ड्रिवन बाय मिशन एंड वी आर ड्रिवन बाय मिशन एंड यू नो वी विल ग्रो ओल्ड सिक्सटी सेवेंटी ईयर्स ओल्ड के जब होंगे वी लुक बैक एंड फील केयर वी वी बिल्ड दिस यू नो दैट इज द प्लेजर ऑफ आर लाइफ वेन आई सी यू ये जो है ना जो लोकल बात कहते हैं हम किसी से कम नहीं आई थिंक यू आर यू नो टू मी यू रिप्रेजेंट a crazy chase to say that india is no less and we are uh, no less uh, and this is our moment yes and uh, also if you you know you mentioned about how my journey began with ride hailing now uh, ride hailing mein uh, the way we run that business it is uh, it's very profitable and we have not been very open about saying this uh, actually on a unit level it's one of the most profitable ride hailing companies in the world wo main usko bina public eye mein ab chalata hu uh it's it's run uh, it, it's very profitable uska jab hum uh, in in the future ipo karenge to sabko dikhega kitna uh, kitna us business mein scale hai aur uh, aur bottom line hai you know consumer internet mein india mein uh, sabne cash burn kiya hai uh, humne before covid itself we had indexed towards uh, making it a profitable. sustainable business mm. because it was clear to me ki yaar ya to investor se lete raho paise right to fir to tumhari destiny tumhare haath mein hai nahi Right. Yeah. and we didn't uh, i didn't uh, become an entrepreneur to uh, just uh, have a certain value of my shares right yeah. i became an entrepreneur to build build an institution or build a uh, scale and build scalable institutions and wo in the end you have to stand on your own feet i've been very uh, uh, one would say contrarian about some of these things uh, that has people have seen that in a negative way sometimes ke are uh, when we started focusing on profitability people said ke in in ola time you know 4 years ago to logon ne bola are ke fundraising nahi ho raha hai fundraising nahi ho raha hai karna nahi tha mere ko ho gaya tha aap aisa nahi mil raha hai ha and and but mere ko nahi karna then we had some uh, scenarios uh, you know some instances with investors also an investor investor hota hai usko apna dekhni hai on to on to on to ko apni dekhni hai right sometimes in the start of world people uh presume that investor to guru hai ha huh? because we're all young no yeah. when you're 25 30 yeah, year yeah, old yeah. you look up to this guy who's handing you money and then you mistake the fact ke wo to wo to mentor ho gaya tumhara guru ho gaya nahi he is a dhande wala aadmi he is there to make his money and uh, uh, i was very cognizant of that from day one hence i always drew a boundary on what is uh, investor is there to make his money and we will make sure investors make money there has been this constant hmm. thing about you that it's very tough yeah. to work with you Uh, no so that that is uh, you know that is a narrative that has been uh, that has built up uh, been or not but it has built up i am a very straight forward person i wear my passion on my sleeve uh, i feel i became an entrepreneur to do something big uh, and i don't want to rest till that happens so i have that uh, purpose and passion and sometimes uh, uh, in in the journey of a company or a business uh, not all not everybody is aligned to that passion and purpose right uh, i am here to to build what i feel is uh, required and uh, that's what we are doing and you know the flip side of that also is there are so many people who enjoy this there is there is no ceiling for their growth there is no hierarchy there is no ki aapko mba karke aana padega there is no ke aap ko itna you know itna years of experience there's nothing like that i work very directly with a lot of lot of people uh and people who have uh, passion qual- quality of mind and smartness and hard work they are able to do really well at ola you know there was a point when you were also very notorious or in famous for being uh, uh, you know fighting with the investors <laughs> tell yeah. us what happened dekho mera mera journey mein I, i have always been very honest to my journey yeah and my journey was never about investors it was never about the uh, glamour of raising money or uh, and we have raised a lot of money and we have had very good partnerships with investors which continue right uh, but it was never the end goal was not the investor ha to kafi bari jab hamara rasta ek taraf ja raha hai and duniya ko lag raha hai ki yaar aisa jana chahiye ya kuch hi kisi investor cohort ko lag raha hai ki aisa karna chahiye to sometimes people in the media or or even in the investor community would comment ki nahi ye to galat ho raha hai and all it's okay unka opinion hai right uh, because uh, i am very honest to my purpose yes and sometimes the other people might take that wrong but it is not reflected on that i am not trying to do it to wrong anybody i am just trying to do what is right for 
for the business and yeah. for my purpose right when i became an entrepreneur sir i was very clear it's a it's not a lifestyle choice it's not i'm not doing it to build a lifestyle business ke mere ko ek business bana ke ek medium size business bana ke mere ko nahi karna hai wo mere ko tapasya karni hai right mujhe aisa karna hai ki kuch bahut bada bane that has its own risk it has extra yeah. risk thoda khujli hoti rehti hai mujhe so i i i have interest i have i have also learned this about myself ki i have a broad range of interests yes yes तो हमने ओला शुरू किया ओला में राइड हेलिंग बिजनेस किया एंड इवेंचुअली uh, हमने उस कंपनी को एज अ कंज्यूमर इंटरनेट कंपनी पोजीशन किया राइड yeah. हेलिंग है अभी आजकल हम उसमें थोड़ा फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज भी कर रहे हैं इन द पास्ट वी डिड एंड वी शट डाउन सम बिजनेस अराउंड फूड डिलीवरी एट्सेट्रा बट दैट्स ऑल कंज्यूमर इंटरनेट देन वेन द आइडिया केम टू मी के यू नो चार साल पहले कि हमें इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स करना चाहिए ऐसे रहा सेपरेट कंपनी it is a business which needs a very different kind of capital uh, it has a lot more capex as you can see all this is yes. funded by capex very different profile of investor might or might not be interested in it uh, and uh, very different talent you know the vehicle engineering person or the manufacturing person is not the software person yes. and vice versa so the right thing to do is to set the set this up a separate company where i am taking risk with my uh, with with my skin yeah. right and uh, i put in my own capital into this and i offered uh, all investors to invest into this company some chose to uh, and and i'm very happy that many investors chose to invest in this company many chose not to because this might not be their cup of tea but uh, you know uh, this got blown up in the in the commentary it as kuch uh, bhavish naisa kar diya galat kar diya and all but it was all transparent yeah you know i have been very open and transparent about uh, how i want to build uh, build the organization and ola is a consumer uh, consumer internet platform we have a large consumer business in that in our ride sharing we will get into a couple of other domains ola electric is a uh, is a future of automotive uh, business while building ola electric we realize that we can uh, you know not just build the vehicle but also build the core technology which is the cell yeah so i have set up a uh, a company around that to build the cell because that in itself is a is one of the most important technologies of our generation yes so that needs a whole focus around uh, as as a whole independent company So sir I'm going to show you, show you a cell huh. because uh, you know many people might not be uh, as uh, familiar with what a cell is No no neither was I till today huh. morning So maine to glove pen liye aapke paas glove nahi hai but aap koi nahi aap aise hath mein pakad lena So this is uh, a cell hmm. These are cells which uh, we right now which we right now buy but this is what we are going to produce in our factory and in our battery innovation center this is what we are working on our cell that will uh, that is uh, coming out will be uh, about five times bigger than this so it was an engineering challenge and a technology challenge to build that but it is absolutely state of the art in fact in the world there are only about two or three companies who have uh, successfully built that cell when you did think of electric or ev mm. that was a very different line of business yeah and today we are living this reality mm. i don't know which one is big of course this is bigger <laughs> and it looks also bigger yeah. uh, but you know very different completely yeah. different line of business and scaling and making yeah. it successful i don't have kids but uh, for an entrepreneur a, a company is a, is a child yeah. right uh, and har bachcha ek saman nahi hota hai yeah. <laughs> har bachche ke apne uh, apne uh, achhaiyan aur khamiyan hoti hain so similarly our consumer business has its own uh, uh, scale growth and its own uh, positives and you think of it from societal impact and shareholder perspective and ola electric has its own uh, uh, reality in terms of the kind of capital it will need to build out right so <clears throat> the the vision in ola electric is is actually to make india a, a global ev hub because uh, if you see 3 years ago before we started india was nowhere on the map on electrification and chote uh, chote idhar udhar kuch startups the incumbents kuch bhi nahi kar rahe the unko kisi ne koi nobody was pushing them uh, competitively to do something so our ambition was from day one to to make india a global ev hub and why is that relevant because if the world has to change uh, has to make sure climate change does not impact so hum- human kind it cannot be done without india like 20% duniya yahan rehti hai yeah right no matter whatever yeah, car yeah. you sell in the west it is not going to <laughs> you know change the future of climate change what is going to change the future of climate change is india india's success in electrification is absolutely at the heart of the climate change uh, discussion globally and uh, electrification of automotive is one of the most important parts of this uh, future of uh, uh, you know net zero 
एंड बट इंडिया में ऑटोमोटिव को इलेक्ट्रीफाई करने के लिए वन हैड टू इमेजिन अ वेरी डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट पोर्टफोलियो वेरी डिफरेंट टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलपमेंट तो वैन वी स्टार्ट ऑफ वी रियलाइज कि हमें ये सब अलग से करना पड़ेगा कि वी कान जस्ट ब्रिंग इन अगर यू एस में कोई टेस्ला है कोई लूसिड है वो गाड़ियाँ इंडिया में कोई खरीद नहीं सकता ए, एक करोड़ की गाड़ी कौन खरीदेगा यहाँ पे पचास लाख की गाड़ी भी बहुत कम लोग खरीदते हैं यहाँ पे इंडिया के लिए टू व्हीलर बहुत रेलिवेंट है इंडिया के लिए छोटी मिड साइज कार्स बहुत रेलिवेंट है दैट इज एंड दैट्स नॉट जस्ट फॉर इंडिया इंडिया इज अ माइक्रोकॉजम फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यू नो यू कैन पुट वेस्ट इन वन डायरेक्शन बट अफ्रीका साउथ ईस्ट एशिया इवन लैटिन अमेरिका इवन पार्ट्स ऑफ यूरोप ईस्ट एशिया दिस इज आई वुड से एटी परसेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड इंडिया इज अ ग्रेट माइक्रोकॉजम फॉर दिस एंड सक्सेस इन इंडिया वुड मीन वी विल हैव अ पैराडाइम फॉर इलेक्ट्रीफाइंग द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दैट्स वाई यू नो आई आई वेरी चीकली सेट टेस्ला इज फॉर द वेस्ट ओला इज फॉर द रेस्ट टेल मी दैट वर दे पीपल हु सेट दैट इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल एवरीबडी एवरीबडी इंक्लूडिंग सम इन्वेस्टर्स Including, Because they would say that you don't have the background. Ha, huh, including जिन्होंने इसमें पैसा भी डाल दिया था. I don't want to take names. The good friends, but skepticism रहता है ये सबके दिमाग में कि ये कैसे करेगा? इसको तो कोई background ही नहीं है. Ha. Everybody, uh, many of our uh, employees, ex-employees छोड़ के चले गए लोग. उनको लग नहीं हो सकता. Media, uh, people uh, all across were skeptical. But I think you know, थोड़ा अगर मेरी personality में भी ये है कि अगर कोई बोलता नहीं हो सकता तो मुझे करना ही है. वो थोड़ा जिद्दी uh, और अड़ियल किस्म का इंसान हुआ वन ऑफ माई बिगेस्ट लाइफ लर्निंग जैसे मैंने बताया कि जब मैं कोटा से वापस घर गया मुँह लटका के खुद कमरे में बंद करके मैंने पढ़ाई करी ना आई आई टी की तब सही में मेरे को बहुत डीप विद इन विश्वास हो गया था कि जिंदगी में कुछ भी किया जा सकता है खुद से किया जा सकता है किसी की भी uh, कोई ऐसी टेक्नोलॉजी की जरूरत नहीं है कुछ नहीं है अभी हम सेल बना रहे हैं जैसे सेल में हम खुद टेक्नोलॉजी बना रहे हैं पिछले दो साल से वी हैव हंड्रेड ऑफ पी एच डीज मेकिंग आर ओन टेक्नोलॉजी All of our uh, peers in India, and us may a lot kind of competition hai. You know, the more the traditional industrialist competition or uh, global companies, un sab ne technology licensing kari hai. But ham khud banana hai technology. To me, I also feel very proud about this. Because when material science or cell yes. ki baat hoti hai, to China, Korea, Haan. you know, everywhere, you know, you talk of every country, but yeah. not India. Yes. Ek, actually, before I answer the cell point, sir, I want to uh, talk a little bit about consumer internet. Yeah. And uh, इंडिया में स्टार्टअप्स में हंड्रेड यूनिकॉर्न बने हैं विच इज़ वेरी कमेंडेबल बट आई ऑल्सो फील नाउ द स्टार्टअप इको सिस्टम हैज़ टू गो टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल बिकॉज जो दस साल पहले डेफिनेशन ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी था ना आज वो नहीं है टेक्नोलॉजी डजन मीन डिजिटल टेक्नोलॉजी टेक्नोलॉजी मीन्स वॉट एवर मेक्स ह्यूमन काइंड मोर प्रोडक्टिव दैट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी डिक्शनरी खोल के यही मिलेगी उसमें एंड डिजिटाइजेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज़ हैपनिंग ओला हैज़ बीन बिल्ड जोमैटो स्विगी फ्लिपकार्ट you know 100 unicorns have been built largely in the digital yes. technology space in india but aaj ki technology kal ki future ki technology bahut alag hai you know the technologies of the future are in energy are in uh, climate broadly uh, carbon capture etc space uh, computing beyond digital itself ai chip silicon manufacturing is changing robotics etc this is the future firstly we are the world's third largest uh, energy consumer hmm. Uh, or we will be if we are not already you know it, it, just by virtue of our scale yeah. okay, we will be one of the world's largest energy markets uh, we have had a traditionally a good pharmaceutical industry uh, there have been some underlying foundational industries which can help in india becoming a global energy technology hub also ev hub to ek hai hum jo kar rahe hain uska real heart is the energy hub energy technologies hub uh, and that's what we are trying to do with our uh, cell business and our battery innovation center ke we want to really create the energy technologies of the future which will be uh, solar technologies which will be uh, storage like lithium technologies sodium we use karenge different uh, solid state cell banayenge so this is a couple of decades of innovation that needs to be done and when we uh, set up this uh, initiative do saal pehle humne shuru kiya because jab jab humne scooter banana shuru kiya to shuru ho gaya then we realized ke the heart of this ev is the cell two years ago i set up this initiative to make cell उसमें चैलेंज आया कि इंडिया में टैलेंट ही नहीं है सॉफ्टवेयर में तो टैलेंट मिल जाता है डेवलपर्स एंड प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर्स एंड ऑल व्हीकल इंजीनियरिंग में भी टैलेंट मिल जाता है क्योंकि कुछ हद तक इंजीनियरिंग इंडिया में होती है इसमें कोई टैलेंट ही नहीं है इंडिया में तो देन हम बाहर बाहर से टैलेंट लाए एंड देन वी वैन वी स्टार्ट लुकिंग वी रियलाइज के देर आर सो मेनी इंडियंस इन दिस डोमेन जस्ट नॉट एन इंडिया तो इंडियंस थे चाइना में काम कर रहे थे जापान में काम कर रहे थे कोरिया में 
even in the west uh, so indians are all over the world in this domain in chemistry and uh, and the fundamental physics uh, that go into making a cell but nobody was there in india so we got so many indians back and today uh, we are uh, uh, i would say india's leading cell technology company we are building a giga factory uh, to produce the cells also here in india our giga factory will be ready by end of this year let's say for india to be completely electric uh, and for our energy also to be fully renewable we need storage uh, india will need let's say alone india will need about 2000 to 3000 gigawatt hour of capacity annual capacity the world will need about let's say 10000 uh, gigawatt hour of annual capacity that's over the next decade and a half or so now we should be building not just our own requirements here in india but like a large part of the world's requirements here yeah. in india and we are making our uh, good uh, uh, an important first step with our giga factory the giga factory will be about 100 gigawatt hour it's planned to be 100 gigawatt hour so in today's global scale it's about 10% of the world's capacity today but i would have to call this out i went to your hmm. battery innovation center yes. and the sheer scale of yeah. innovation that they are doing and the people yes. uh, you know he was saying jahan pe jo bhi kaam kar raha hai wo excited hai ki yes. change hum kar rahe hain uh, and that was very visible yeah.